Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Delena. If you have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, turn on that notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of my uploads. Today I am sharing a YSL unboxing, so let's get into it. <laughs> A few weeks ago, I recorded a video talking about the new luxury handbags that I was in love with. And during that video, I did state that, you know, I wanted to get one of these bags really soon, maybe for Valentine's Day. So I did go ahead and give my husband, you know, a couple of options to work with and to choose from as a Valentine's Day gift to me. What I did tell him is that I really wanted a new everyday handbag. However, there was a couple of other options that I really loved, but they really wouldn't work as an everyday bag so I think for me saying that my husband sort of took the hint like you know what let me secure her another everyday bag before I get her something else she has a lot of other going out bags and bags for special occasions but she really wanted another everyday bag so you all can see from the thumbnail of this video that I did receive something from Saint Laurent now Obviously, you all don't know what's in that box because I did talk about a specific handbag, but I didn't really say or know or decide on a color. I mentioned a couple colors that I was interested in. Of course, we all know how much I love black. <laughs> so of course, that probably would be the best option. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull the, bo uh, the box out so we can go ahead and unbox it together. I don't want this video to be super long just because I do wanna take a few moments to switch over to this handbag because I want to start using it today um, and the reason for that is that I told myself that I also didn't want another handbag that would be sitting for a while and y'all know me I don't be going nowhere like that all the time so a new everyday bag just kind of made sense for me because I know that I'll be using that bag really soon so the uh, bag came in this gorgeous gold box. I know they were doing this over the holidays, so I really wasn't expecting this, but um, Saint Laurent, I feel like they don't change their packaging as much as some other brands. Like I feel like Dior and LV and all of them, they do different um, packaging for certain holidays. But Saint Laurent, I feel like they don't typically always do that, mainly just for Christmas. So I got lucky and I did get the gold packaging with the really pretty black ribbon. Now, I did take a look at this bag, y'all, and I did take a look at it because I wanted to just make sure it was everything I thought it was, make sure it wasn't a situation of, oh, I love this bag, but it's not really for me. Um, and the reason for that is because I never went in store to see this handbag. I've watched a lot of TikTok videos and I've watched YouTube videos, but I never went into the store to see it myself. So of course there's always that thought of, I do not want to get on camera and unbox this bag to go return it. <laughs> now I know some other people are really good about that, but I will say for me personally, when it comes to getting a handbag, baby, I want the bag. So like going back to the store and returning it or it being defective, like that would just blow it for me, okay? So for me, I, I definitely wanted to make sure I was in love with the piece. And Saint Laurent is one of the brands that their packaging is so simple, like you literally could slide the ribbon off and put it right back on. So I kind of got lucky because had this been Chanel or something, y'all, you wouldn't even be getting this ribbon, okay? So let's go ahead and take this off and let's get into the bags. Like I said, we don't want to spend a lot of time because I do want to switch over to this handbag and kind of show you what can fit. So there's what it looks like without the ribbon. And I'm really excited to have this gold box because honestly, the last Saint Laurent bag I got is my YSL Cassandra bag. So I I technically was all, with the exception of my um, YSL um, camera bag, I don't have any Saint Laurent hand box, uh, handbag boxes because all of my other bags were purchased from Saks. So it's kind of nice to get the box and they don't have this like um, taped up or anything. So you just pull it back and then inside is your dust bag. And once I pull it out the box, this is what it looks like. And the newest bag to my collection and I'm going to screw up the name. So I'm just gonna say something simple. I got the YSL 5 to 7 supple bag in grain leather. Y'all, I am so in love with this bag. Y'all know I have been on this hobo kick. 
and I really was interested in this piece because I felt like it would be durable. It could hold a lot. Like I said, I was doing a ton of research on TikTok um, because I felt like I couldn't find a lot of videos on YouTube. And just to kind of call that out, I don't know what's happening with luxury content on YouTube. I feel like we're either getting luxury content when it's like a big collective haul or like some type of, oh, I went to Paris and here's my haul. I don't know what's happening, but I don't like it <laughs> because YouTube has always been the place that you go to to look for a good, solid review of a handbag and you get to find out the wear and tear, the pros, the cons. And obviously you all have used my videos for that purpose. And I have a ton of different handbag reviews on my channel. So having to resort to TikTok to really get a lot of information about a bag, it sort of kind of bothered me because I'm just like, so the girls really just, nobody's making long form content anymore, huh? <laughs> like that's how it felt. But I did see a couple people that was in YSL, they did some shopping vlogs and I got to see the bag a little bit more because I will say, this is the small size and this bag also comes in large. This bag will fool you. I will say in person, it's it can fit a lot, right? Like I did kind of test that out. But from the pictures and the different um, things on the YSL website and online, you would think it's a little bigger than this. Now for me, this is a perfect size everyday bag. Like I said, I already kind of played around with it just to make sure, cause I did not want to come on camera y'all and show y'all this bag and be like, you know what? I gotta take this back. <laughs> so I did test that out and just to make sure it would work for me. So. This is what it looks like. Again, you do have the option to hook it at different levels. I found that for me, if I'm wearing like a sweater or something like that, the last hook is the best because I don't want it just so close up under my arm and my arms are not small. So <laughs> I think for me, I'm gonna always keep it kind of at that third hook unless I'm carrying it kind of like top handle or something like that and by the hand. But other than that, I'm gonna rock with it this way. It does have on the strap detail, the Saint Laurent, and I think it says Paris. Yep, Saint Laurent Paris detail. I hope you all can see that. And that is written kind of like in black. It looks like black, yeah. And it is the bronze gold hardware, which I really do like. You all know that my YSL medium envelope bag had the shiny gold hardware. And I found that I don't just love the shiny gold from YSL. <laughs> like it's okay and it's on my camera bag and I think it's kind of fine on that bag because that bag is like a beige color. But all of my other YSL bags with the black and gold combo is bronze and I really like that. Even for my card holder, I sort of prefer the bronze gold hardware but yeah it is so pretty and of course black was the absolute best option for an everyday bag because again y'all if I'm running out running errands going to the grocery store typically I'm wearing like leggings a black jacket sweater hoodie <laughs> So black, of course, was the best option for me. And again, I really just kind of wanted to sit my Gucci shoulder bag down for a while. I have not made my mind up of what I'm going to do with it. Um, if I'm going to sell it, gift it to my mom or something. I, I don't know yet. But for right now, this is going to be my new everyday piece. Um, another thing I want to call out, the bag is like... The leather is not like super thick or anything. Like it's very lightweight, like a very lightweight piece. So if you were wondering, oh, is this gonna be something that's super heavy? No, it's a very lightweight handbag. Obviously I'm not sure about the large size, but this small size is very lightweight. Of course, to open the bag, you're gonna have to unhook it here and flip it back. Now, one thing I do like is you don't always have to lock it in. So if I'm in and out of my purse, I'm not probably gonna be locking this in unless I'm somewhere like crowded where I'm worried about someone, you know, kind of getting into my bag. But if I'm just running in the store and I need to grab some things out, then for me, I probably won't always lock it. So then the interior of the bag. So it's sort of like this micro, I wanna say, a suede material there is an interior pocket which you may be able to see it there and it's sort of like not fully attached to the bag like you can stick something behind it and maybe the reason why people are not reviewing this on YouTube y'all is because it's kind of hard to show you um, of course inside of the box is I mean the bag is your authenticity card um, I'm surprised like obviously a lot of brands are not doing this anymore so Saint Laurent obviously still does that but yeah, and then on the inside, this uh, pocket, 
it just says Saint Laurent Paris it has the gold detail but really that's it now <laughs> one thing about this this can be like a black hole in here so of course for someone like me I typically keep everything inside of a pouch or a card holder in my key holder uh, or something like that so I'm not too worried about like getting lost up in here I don't think that'll be a problem for me but again I have not used the bag yet so I don't know just yet um, I will definitely make a video discussing the pros the cons probably after I've used it for at least a month or so because again this will be an everyday bag while I don't leave the house every day um, anytime I will be leaving the house and I'm not going out somewhere where I'm like oh I want to carry another bag this will be my bag. So I think in a month or two at most, I should be able to give you guys kind of an update of, is it really worth it? Um, you know, how the wear and tear is and all of that. So again, very, very beautiful. Obviously it's available in different colors. That's what the bottom looks like. There are no feet on this handbag, which to me, I don't really feel like that would have made sense for this piece. Um, this piece is 26.50. Now I'll be honest with you. At first I was like, mm, $26.50. I don't know if that's the right price point for this bag. <laughs> and the reason I say it is because it's kind of just simplistic. Obviously, like I said, the leather is not too thick, but it also isn't thin. But it's a little bit of a kind of like bag that's gonna give you that slouchy effect. You know, it's kind of gonna give that like almost, it's a little flimsy. So I don't know if this bag should be priced at $26.50. Nonetheless, I'm really excited to have it and definitely excited to give you all a thorough review after I've really used it. But my initial thoughts is this bag probably could have been somewhere around $22.50 at most. That's my initial thought because there's just not a lot to it. You know, it's kind of like your little shopping bag that's obviously just in leather and it has some detail and then a cute little pocket but it's not a lot to it so overall I'm really excited about it and I do think this will serve the purpose that I need it to but in regards to $26.50 I'm gonna use it and let y'all know if it's really worth that price point before I switch over my items I did want to open up the card that my husband wrote to me um, for this particular gift for some reason you all were really in love with the note that he left me um what was that my LV um on the goto unboxing you guys really enjoyed that so I'm just gonna read it this one was kind of simple it just says happy valentine's day to the love of my life I hope you love this gift I look forward to selling many celebrating many more love days with you so obviously you know valentine's day is all about love so really cute um nothing too crazy but i was just like you know what they really enjoyed that let me just share it um inside the other envelope and i didn't say this earlier but this was purchased from st laurent um, .com. dang why well, it won't come out so of course there is a return label should we decide it to return there's an order summary and then there's some other black thing in here what is this um this document just goes over the saint laurent return policy and then there's one last thing i think this is just like a little oh this is just like a little why stuff it'll come out <laughs> here we go it's just like a little saint laurent thank you um ysl.com and like i said it was purchased on their website so that is that so let me put all of this away y'all and then we'll go ahead and switch over my handbags all right y'all so here is my current everyday bag i feel like it's a lot of stuff in here and some of that stuff i will not be transferring over just because some of it is stuff that just needs to go in the trash so the first thing we're gonna pop in is my prada pouch of course my chanel mini o case i love that thing i cannot wait to get another one um my coin coin purse which is open <laughs> which means all the coins have fallen out so i will deal with that at a later time my go-to bottle of advil my hand sanitizer you all saw me pick this up um a few in the last vlog when we were in target i was like oh this is a little valentine's day treat to myself to have pink but actually this goes inside of here so let's just pop it inside my little Prada pouch because that is where I typically keep it and so that's kind of what it's looking like now that we got more stuff in it um what else do we have in here I just have a little um feminine wipe and then 
you know it's so much stuff in this bag for no reason and then of course my gucci card holder which i'm still carrying for the time being and i think that's yeah the rest of this stuff is like random receipts i'm not putting that in there because it was stuff that i got yesterday um while running errands and then of course all the change that fell out so that is everything in the bag for now um i wish i had my phone in here of course i don't but that is what the bag is looking like with everything in here now you can see it's kind of poking right here so what i would just do is kind of move maneuver how i have everything situated so it's not doing that there we go so lock that thing back in and there you go and it's still kind of looking like that but there we go so just have to maneuver the stuff around if you don't want it like looking like <laughs> all bulgy right here but there is still plenty more room so i can tell you right now i can absolutely fit my cell phone in here my keys i could fit a full size sunglass case in here which you know what um let me see okay here is my new Celine sunglasses, which this case is actually bigger than the other one because this is a uh, bigger pair of sunglasses. So I'm just gonna stick that in here. Now, when I put this in here, it's definitely giving more of a bulky, bulgy vibe and I probably need to situate things a little bit differently. But for the sake of this video, let's just take it out of the case. and throw it in there and now it's perfect so even if you're not like oh i don't care about carrying the case doesn't matter you don't you can still fit it in there so again it can fit everything i need from an everyday handbag standpoint which is why i did not want the large y'all know i don't like large bags which is why the on the go tote from louis vuitton does not work for me for everyday handbag y'all so I think the small is perfect for me. I think this is everything that I'm gonna need for everyday bag and I'm so excited to start using it. So definitely let me know down below what your thoughts are on this bag. Let me know from that video, did you think I was gonna go for this one? I can't lie, a lot of you left comments saying you have it, you love it. So of course that kind of made me feel like, okay, that might be the better option. <laughs> so let me try to sway my husband this way. <laughs> but um yeah let me know if you thought this is what i was gonna get let me know if you have this bag and how you feel about it but so far i'm really happy and with all those items in there the bag still feels pretty lightweight hey y'all so i'm just inserting some mod shots of me with the handbag i just wanted you all to kind of see how it looks on me um keep in mind i'm five two so that's probably another reason why i don't love really really big handbags but i feel like this is the perfect size for me it looks so cute really excited to have it in my collection so i thank you all so much for watching and supporting me please do not forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with your family and friends and i'll see you in my next one